This is a brief demonstration to walk you through how to turn any document that can be captured, any form, any Word document, any Excel spreadsheet that can be digitally signed or electronically signed uh, into an interview like a TurboTax-like application. For this particular example, I'm using a form that's used in banking to set up uh, ACH authorization. So uh, now that you know what the form is going to look like, let's build a demo environment here to, to show you how to do that. First and foremost, I'm going to create a quick uh, interview. The interview actually right now looks like this. There's nothing in it. So I'm going to rapidly run through and just add a few things to this, this document. First and foremost, I need to create a page. So I'm creating a website page here, and it was like this new page. I'm going to call it Banking Self-Service. And on Banking Self-Service, I'm going to drop in a couple of fields. So let me drop in one field. What is your name? And I'm also going to drop in a data source, which means I can connect to external data sources. What state do you live in? So on this particular uh, item, you'll begin to see I have a list of properties on the right-hand side. So I'm going to connect to a data source I already know that I have defined. Uh, it's called USA States, US States. And I want it to pull from the state database table and display the state name for me as a unique field as a pull-down inside of the application. So now I've got the state. What I'm going to drop, maybe one more item in here. We'll put in here, what is your mailing address? So now I've got the, the three main things that I want to put in. Um, next, I want to actually create a new page. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's drop in a multiple choice question. What do you want to do today? So if I want to set up a what do you want to do today, my first answer will be to this multiple choice question. I want to open an account. And maybe I want to drag in another answer that says I want to set up ACH. So I'm going to set up uh, ACH Payment Authority. So if I go through here, I've got this set up now. Save this. Quickly run back over to the application itself. And let's fill it in. Let's see what this looks like. So now that I've refreshed this application, you see that what is your name? Neil Keen. What is your mailing address? 123 Main Street. And I live in North Carolina. You see my data sources here. What do you want to do? I want to open an account. I want to set up an ACH authority. Nothing happens yet when I do this. So let's make something happen on this. So let's drag and drop another page in here. And the new page will be set up an ACH account. Set on a set up ACH authorization. And if I set up ACH authorization, maybe one of the things that I want to do is say upload an ID. So if I drag and drop this over here, I want you to upload your ID. Now, um, if I want to set this up so it's conditional, I want this page only to show up when what do you want to do today is equal to set up an ACH payment authority. When that is selected, then make this show up. So let's save this again and come back over and do a refresh and go through this again. So now you see some of the new stuff in here, Neil Keen. See, everything's filled out. If I click on open an account, nothing happens. But if I click on ACH payment, you see ACH payment comes in and I can go through and upload my ID. The only thing is it's not going to generate any document yet. So let's go over and actually generate a document. So I'm going to go over and set up that template of the document you saw in the beginning. So drag and drop that into finish where you see I've already got send the DocuSign set up. And I'm going to have them import that document. And now you'll begin to see that I have fields in that document that were recognized. So I need to drop in some things like name. Well, the name is what my name is that I typed into the interview. The address that I want to use is the address that I just typed into the interview. The state where I live is the state that I just tried, typed into the interview. Let's keep it pretty simple and just map off those few things. Save this again. Then come back over to Infinity, 
restart this. So I'm going to reload this application. And now when I reload it in the old Keen, what is your mailing address? 123 Main Street. What state do you live in? North Carolina. What do I want to do? Set up an ACH payment. Click on that. Upload new ID card. I'll find my ID card here. If I was on a phone, it would ask me to take a picture of that ID card. Now I've uploaded my ID. Now, that comes the final bit. I've collected all this information. Typically, this is the validation page. But if you click Submit, I've taken that PDF document that I've uploaded. I've now mapped it to an interview, created an interview, and made it so that as you begin to scroll down through here, you begin to see my name, my street, my zip, all the information about me. And if you notice, I've got a signature block already assigned here and the date uh, assigned here. So I have created and finished a document in five minutes or so what from a quick design from starting from scratch.